Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer on this Friday the 11th of June 2021 on this glorious summer's evening here in Canterbury. It's lovely that you've been able to join us as we reflect back upon the week and pray for the night ahead. So the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. We say together the night hymn. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our appointed psalm tonight is that beautiful psalm, 139, verses 1 to 18. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave of my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand holds me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you, the night is as clear as the day, as the light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my innermost parts, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret, and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in a book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God, how great is the sum of them. If I count them, they are more in number than the sand. Then at the end, at the end, I am still in your presence. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. A word from Scripture. Leave all your worries with him, because he cares for you. It's 1 Peter 5, 7. Now for our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Now from the Nunc Dimittis. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, 
Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come together towards the end of this week, we pray for the, the week that has been, the ups and the downs, the times which we have perhaps found difficult or challenging, the times that have perhaps have been more joyous in celebration. We give thanks, O oh Lord, for this week and the day that has been Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray particularly at this time for those conversations that are happening in Cornwall, the G7. We pray for your precious world, O Lord, for creation, for all peoples, and for all creation. We pray for conversations around climate change, the vaccination rolling out to everybody, that your love may re be reflected, that we see Christ in the other and our Christ to the other. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who have asked us for prayer, for those in our benefits prayer sheet, and for those known only to you, O oh Lord. Those who may be facing this night with fear or trepidation, with anxiety, a sense of loneliness. Pray also for those who may be celebrating tonight, birthdays or anniversaries, or perhaps seeing a friend for the first time in a long while. We lift them to you, O oh Lord. We give thanks for this beautiful day, the flowers that are blooming in our gardens, the bird song, the baby ducks down on the river the Stour, all those signs of hope, and for that we give thanks this evening. So Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now for our collect. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us good in safety. Bide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning. So do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us for night prayer. Please do join us if you can um, for our service on Sunday, 8 o'clock at St Dunstan's, and that will also be live streamed, accessed by our website. And then 9.30 at St Peter's, St Eucharist, and again 11 o'clock at St Mildred's. Wherever you are, God bless you and have a good, safe weekend. Otherwise, you again for morning prayer on Monday. Good night and God bless. <laughs>